Okay, so I was actually going to watch it all the way through. Okay, first of all, we'll say this is the review for The Real Housewives of Atomic, The uh, Reunion. I don't know if this is a part one of anything. I will see towards the end. It's 10 to 43. I just got into the beginning. Like I said, y'all know I'm on 24-hour duty, so I am trying to get this done. Will y'all get this video tonight? Oh, no. <laughs> If you do, you do. If you don't, shit, y'all get this motherfucker first thing in the morning. But I was actually going to watch it through in its entirety, and I was just like, you know what? No, I will give this to you guys in the manner in which I've been giving y'all the rest of these fucking reviews. So, Katie returned her motherfucking wedding ring. We knew that from the fucking previews. Uh, and the engagement is off. We knew that from the previews, but they're not going to talk about it in depth. It's going to come later. Whatever. I'm y'all know I'm not gonna talk about everything. I'm gonna treat this reunion like I did the households of Atlanta. So don't be surprised. If y'all don't know how I did it, y'all can click off this, go watch one dip and then come back. Come back. <laughs> uh so they add they talk about uh K uh not Katie, Karen's event. And you know, Katie does not take back what she said. Even and it's one of those ways it's like I feel she like she's being a little bit bitchy with that because you clearly heard Ray ask her, scale this thing down. I don't want it to be big because the memory is still very, very vivid. So she wants to sit here and continue to throw shade this, that, and third. And, you know, Karen, Karen's like, you don't have to apologize to me, but you might want to apologize to those that this benefits. And Katie didn't grew some major motherfucking balls, y'all. She didn't grew some major fucking balls. So I'm just like, I, you know, it... I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I enjoyed Karen when she was like, I enjoyed your non-event. I was like, you know what? you? <laughs> I was so here for that. And it was one of those where it was somewhat forced and she had to put it out there, but I'm glad because that was one, like that hit, that hit her right there, you know? And she even tried to say, well, I've raised money for this. And I think it was Giselle that was like, yeah, but that was at a long-standing event, an event that had already been there. It's not like you threw something. They kind of shut her up. And uh, what's her name? Robin whole thing is just like, I wish you would have told us this is what it was. I feel like you wasted some of our sound. Like some of us could have just made a donation. I got it. But I mean, come on. Let's call the mother and spade a spade. You, <clears throat> you was there for a check. Okay. Production told your ass you was going to be there for a check. You there for a check. Okay, I, I, I like Robin, okay? And I like the look she giving me. I like this. You there for a check. I ain't sitting here trying to be shady and shit, but y'all y'all house got foreclosed on. You was there for a check. <laughs> I'll be right back. So let me just go ahead and say, I wanted to apologize because this is not going to be a good fucking review. I'm sorry. Like, I can only give you guys so much and they are giving me so very little. I'm like two thirds of the way through this fucking reunion right now. And they're talking about a lot of the same shit. A lot of the shit is irrelevant, especially when you're dealing with some sedity ass bitches. I'm just gonna keep it 1000 with y'all. Now, I wrote down two things, Ashley versus the girl. So it's the whole thing of, you know, <clears throat> Ashley. And of course, you know, there's tension between Ashley and Giselle. You know, and it, and she even said, well, I mean, you just mad because I'm younger and cuter than you. And Robin says something along those lines, not exactly like that. And even uh, someone had s quoted but misquoted Robin saying something along those lines. And, you know, Giselle Holt is like denying that. Even uh, mentioned about her uh, hair and called it a bush. And it was one of those where, why would you do that, knowing that you are also a black woman coming for her hair? And, it, you know, a Ashley's whole thing is, boo-boo, you over-treat your motherfucking hair. I don't. And, you know, Giselle's whole thing is, well, that's the first thing that I saw. The shit's still negative. On some real shit, that shit is still fucking negative. And, I mean, if y'all look by virtue of the seating and whatnot, you can tell... Who how they see everybody by virtue of where the fuck they place them. So, of course, you have Giselle and Karen being right next to Andy, and that's how they feel they are. And then next to them, respectively, 
is uh Robin and Katie and then Ashley and then uh Sharice. Again, Sharice need not come back if they bring this shit back for a season two. Um but I'm just kind of like, and we all know that Giselle really did not have nothing of her own going on. So other people had to be her fucking, excuse me, storyline. It's just what the fuck it is. And again, y'all know I, I love everybody, but I love my people. I sit here and I talk the most shit, especially with my training towers and everything. Yeah. I call everybody bitches and hoes. Hell, I call myself a bitch. I call myself a whore. You know what I'm saying? But, and a lot of shit that I say, even though it's me going in, if you read between lines and really focus in on what I'm saying, everything that I'm saying, especially if it's like real, uh, it's coming the fuck out a little bit. At the same exact time, I do my damnest to not go for the aesthetics, especially like that where it's just coming against another sister because her hair is natural and out. But you got your shit all the way straight now and you have your hair dyed. Come on now. Don't do that shit. Don't, and y'all y'all already know how the fuck I feel about that. Already fucking know. Anyway. What the fuck else? The whole help comment. And it's one of what Carol's like, you know, is try is defending herself and saying like that he better be happy along the lines of better be happy. That's what I called him. And she even said, because I was holding myself up from saying something else. I'm kind of mad and like cause here it's one of those where it's just like that shit wasn't dug into. Because it really makes you wonder what the fuck she really wanted to say. And I think because her employer is sitting to her fucking love, it probably has something to do with the man's sexuality. More than likely. And it's just, and I mean, she even took a dead talking about some, well, I'm all late. I can take him in the back and show it. And it's one of those, just like, you doing the absolute most. But she's teetering that line. And this all was shot after, well, uh, well, I will say after the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think Cameron probably is looking back at this for you and like, you know what? I might want to tighten the fuck up. He just got these Atlanta hoes together. Yeah, you might want to tighten the fuck up because you might be in jeopardy of coming the fuck back. Because Andy don't stand for a whole fucking lie. But there's one fucking issue that Andy stands on top of. And that's anything dealing with the LGBTQ motherfucking community. If y'all haven't noticed, and don't give a fuck about the black women, don't give a fuck about y'all asses. We'll sit here and let y'all do whatever it is y'all wanna do to each other. But the one thing that his ass stand firmly on is that right there. So you you say or do something against that right there, he has an issue with it. But women berating themselves and doing all this other fuck shit, don't give a fuck about that. But did y'all, but I hope y'all peep game on that shit. I really hope y'all fucking do. What the f is there anything else to talk about? Again, the, all they really doing is giving us the same exact shit. We are literally rehashing this whole entire fucking season. Literally. We ain't, it's like we're really not even getting shit new. So, I, we, I'll be back. <laughs> again, <laughs> let me apologize. This is probably not my best fucking work. But again... I can only give you what they give me. And you also have to remember, first and foremost, this is part one. We got part two next week. I hope there's not a fucking part three. <laughs> they ain't give us enough shit. For <clears throat> they ain't give us enough shit for a two-parter, okay? And we all know the first part of any fucking reunion drags ass. And this is also a Bravo production. Okay? <laughs> so... The crowd boil. The only thing I want to mention about the crowd boil is, y'all, can we use our fucking brains? Can we? Please? I mean, on some real shit? A fucking crowd boil. So you have all this shit catered. Sharice, all this shit's catered. <clears throat> but it's a little crowd boil where you have people from the cast cooking in your fucking kitchen. Really? <clears throat> Andy, I'm going to need for you to do a better job of sitting here trying to sell us some shit. I'm going to need for you to do a better motherfucking job of trying to sell us some shit. Because I wasn't impressed. I wasn't sold. Not one fucking bit I was not sold. Just want to throw that out there. Um, The whole if it offended you thing, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it funky with y'all. I'll have a problem with that. And here's here's the only reason why. <laughs> Again, call me a horrible fucking person. I'm one of them motherfuckers where if I say some shit, unless I have a conviction and I truly feel in my heart of hearts that you know what, y'all real, 
you were wrong for that shit. You need to fucking apologize. Then that is when I will go that route. Now, if, if you feel some kind of way, yeah, I'm probably going to say you. Because here's my whole thing. You gonna get one or two things from actually one or three things either a I'm just not gonna say shit to your ass because I don't feel as if I should apologize. Two, you know what? If I said if I say anything that if I say anything to offend you or if you know what I said truly defend you, I apologize that you know that happened. But what I would never do is if I stand firm in my shit, I'm not like you might get the third version or you might get the second version of the third option, and it might be on some real shit. Everything that I said to you, I fucking meant. And I take back nothing that I said. But there is a chance that probably the tack behind it, the force behind it was probably wrong. So I apologize if you feel some kind of way. More or less, I apologize at my delivery. Because it might have been my delivery and not my words. That's probably the most you finna get out of me. But I don't take back shit that I say. Because more often than not, if I said it, I meant it. Now, probably shouldn't have said it. <laughs> I've had some moments where I'm just like, damn it, y'all really shouldn't have said that shit. But on the other hand, it's just like, what? I mean, it was true. You know, I said it. You know, and then, I mean, it's seldom that I say some shit that it's just like, damn, should not have said that. That was wrong. Seldom. Fucking seldom. And then I did write down part two next week. I was like, hot damn. Hot damn. Now, Robin says she uh, loves Juan, but she's not in love with Juan, but he's in love with her. They're probably going to work back towards that. But it was an incident with their friend because after he stole the money and it was it became privy to him that they found out he actually uh, committed suicide and it was actually that that kind of brought them back to each other. But she was like, he was he's a fucking athlete. They cheat. <laughs> and it wasn't the first time, you know, and I knew about them and I turned a blind eye and divorce was the best thing that could happen to us. I'm trying to see, was there anything else I really need to talk about? So the whole uh, color thing, the whole biracial thing came up. All I'm going to say is, you know, I need for, because uh, I really don't want to talk about it. Cause my whole thing is however you choose to identify is how you choose to identify. The whole one drop of black that did not come from us black folk. Okay, that did not come from us. But I will say in the world that we live in, if you have any defining features of someone that is black, or if you have a tint to your skin, unless you are of Asian descent, you a nigga. I'm, I'm, we just gonna call a motherfucking spade a spade in the eyes of many. I ain't saying the eyes of all. Read between the fucking lines what the fuck I'm trying to say. It is what the fuck it is. But that whole one drop in you, that was never us. But at the same exact time, given where we lived, and I can appreciate what Giselle said, this is what we, this is what like, them growing up in the South and what they went through and crosses were not being burned. It was one of those where it's just like, yeah, we look like this, but we still got treated like this. It's fucking understandable. My whole thing is however people choose to identify what they choose to identify with, it is up to them. And it's just one of those where, yes, I think that, it, you know, especially for those who have the prominent features and have the melanin in them and the skin tone and everything, should love and embrace, it, especially when we live in a world that teaches us to not love ourselves, to not love anything about ourselves, yet other cultures take what we have been brainwashed to think is wrong and ugly and not beautiful but it's now a fucking trendy ass fucking thing and not fucking here for it. But again, whatever somebody choose to identify with is what they choose to identify with. It does not hurt me either fucking way. Point blank and the fucking period. On oh, some real shit. Like I said, I do the comedy shit over here. Yes, I'll put on a motherfucking cosplay wig and give y'all cosplay realness and shit. But the reality is this. Get, no matter what the fuck y'all say, do y'all see this shit? Y'all see what that do? I can sit here and talk so much shit about motherfuckers that permanent hand and whatnot. But I'm not going to do that. Because, again, however you decide to look, however you decide to sit here and present yourself, it's how the fuck you decide to do it. My whole thing is this, regardless of what makes you up, love everything about yourself. But don't sit here and deny what is in you. Because like I, I, like I said, I know my fucking makeup. But the reality is this. What you see is what you get. All right. So that's enough about that. The whole race thing going to come up. 
and we're going to see that fire come out of Robin and on some real shit. I know I probably feel bad. I kind of want to see Robin get up and drag uh, Katie's ass. I know that's wrong. And for, for, for the record, kids should have never got brought up. But uh, Robin, because I, I get the feeling Robin really can't fight with her words. And she 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 giving me Portia. She giving me Portia right now. I'm, I don't like that. But I will say this. See, I, see here's the thing. I'm a, I, I'm a shady bitch. This motherfucker right here, he a shady bitch. Do not, do not let me. I don't talk about people's kids. And if I do that right there, it's truly some shit that I will apologize for. Because, you know, because here's the thing. I'll, I'll be straight up with you. If I if my ass in the full on rate, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just go. I'm going for your jugular. And I try my best to remember kids off limits. Outside of that, if I know some shit, like I couldn't have been Robin Katie. You even talk shit, bitch. And you sitting here without a motherfucker ray? Man, I would have got in that ass. I would have got in that ass. It's like, oh, you you wanna cut bad. Bad. Bad that would have been me, but that's all I got. Hopefully next week, hopefully next week gives us something better. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I entertained y'all and I gave y'all something. I hope. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next week for the rest of this shit. Peace. Oh, and before I forget, when all these reunions are done, I think uh, next week team. I think I recorded that. Uh, all of these are done. I'm going to try to get the crew together so we can do a blab. We can just talk about all the fucking reunions and we all can just sit here and just talk about shit. Hopefully they haven't already talked about it. All right. That's all I got. Peace.